Welcome back learners. Today's lesson is about the structure and function of nucleus. The word nucleus comes from the Latin word which means core or center. Core or center, it doesn't mean that nucleus is present in the center of the cell. It means uh, that's why it is called nucleus or core or center no the nucleus is called core or center because most of the activities they are taking place inside the nucleus and actually it is controlling the whole cell that's why it is the center or it is the center site for all the activities or the maintenance of the cell that is why it is called nucleus core or center of the cell the nucleus is made up of DNA which is a genetic material along with this it is made up of histone histone proteins RNA lipid all these molecules they are actually present inside the nucleus if we are talking about the structure of the nucleus I have drawn here a structure of nucleus which I'm going to label as I will explain you the structure so let's dive into the structure of nucleus the nucleus is actually spherical in shape And it is present in the center of animal cells while in plant cells it is present at the side of the cell because of the presence of a large vacuole if you want to study the structure and function of animal and plant cells I will share the link in the upper right corner you can visit that link the nucleus is made up of double layer or double membrane here you can see this membrane here which is known as nuclear envelope nuclear envelope is actually a by layer by means two it means it is made up of two layers as I have drawn here in red one is internal layer the other one is outer layer the membrane or the nuclear envelope is not a continuous membrane instead it has small pores inside these membrane which are known as nuclear pores the benefit of the nuclear pores that they make this nucleus semi-permeable. Semi-permeable means that it allows some molecules to enter the nucleus and some molecules they cannot enter. The benefit of these nuclear pores that it connects the internal side or in, uh, inside of the nucleus to the outside cytoplasm. Here the outer side is cytoplasm inside is the nucleus. So nuclear pores they allow the molecule from the cytoplasm to enter into the nucleus. The internal part of the nucleus is actually a granular part here as you can see the green parts it means that it is not smooth but it contains small grains which makes it granular and this part is known as nucleoplasm so this internal part is known as 
nucleoplasm the nucleoplasm just like the cytoplasm it contains so many different nutrients to perform the function it may contain enzymes protein nucleotides inside the nucleoplasm here you can see this thread like structure is present this thread like structure is known as chromatin the chromatin is actually made up of dna plus protein when the cell is not dividing this dna and protein is present in when cell is not dividing the chromatin is present in a thread like structure but when the cell is going to divide this cell uh, this thread like structure it is going to condense and then it is going to form chromosome here centromere and here chromatids but if the cell is not dividing you cannot support the chromosomes you will only see this thread like structure which is known as chromatin inside the uh, nucleoplasm there are one or two nucleoli present nucleoli is actually a dark site where ribosomal rna is produced and then they are combined to, uh, together to form ribosomes so in other words the nucleoli is actually the site for the synthesis of ribosomes the word nucleoli is actually a plural one the other word is nucleolus which is a singular along with this structure here you can see this blue part which is combined or which is connected to the internal part of the cell membrane it is known as nuclear nuclear lamella or nuclear lamina the nuclear uh, lamina uh, is actually connected to the internal membrane of the nuclear envelope because outside the layer or outside membrane is connected to endoplasmic reticulum so outside layer is connected to endoplasmic reticulum and inside membrane is connected to nuclear lamina nuclear lamina is actually a fibrous network it is very important to maintain stability and also it organize chromatin material it means it gives the shape to the nucleus maintain its shape along with this it also organize this thread like structure inside the nucleus if we talk about the function of nucleus nucleus is very important because it is involved in protein synthesis as we know that in the nuclei ribosomes are produced and ribosomes they are very important uh, for the synthesis of protein along with this it is important in cell division because when cell is going to divide this chromatin material is going to be converted into chromosome and then these chromosomes they are going to be divided into two new daughter cells so it is involved in cell division it also controls enzyme synthesis
the chromatin material is made up of dna and dna contains genes the genes they when transcribe they form proteins and proteins majority of the proteins they are actually enzymes so in uh, other ways the nucleus is controlling enzyme synthesis because it contain it contains genes and it is controlling the transcription of genes it means that it is controlling what kind of genes is going to be transcribed to form the protein or enzymes it stores dna and rna which we have already discussed along with this it is very important for the transcription now what is transcription transcription is actually the con uh, dna conversion into mrna as i have already said here that gene gene is dna when this dna is going to form protein there is one intermediate step which is known as transcription in which this gene is first converted into mrna and this mrna is converted into protein so it is very important for nucleus to control the transcription of dna the last function of nucleus is that it controls the hereditary traits Hereditary, hereditary traits. For example, if a person going to have black hair or brown hair, person going to have blue eyes or brown eyes, all these information is controlled by the nucleus because it contains DNA. Because all the all the information is stored inside the DNA. In other words, nucleus is controlling the hereditary. traits there are two terms used when we talk about the nucleus one is known as e mm, nucleate and the other one is known as multinucleate e nucleate mean no nucleus multinucleus means many nucleus we know only the eukaryotic cells contains the nucleus in prokaryotic cells the nucleus is totally absent only the chromatin material is present inside the cytoplasm so in eukaryotes there are so many different types of cells which contain no nucleus or contains so many nucleus if we talk about the example of e nucleate or e nucleotic cell means cell containing new no nucleus we have the example here it is known as red blood cells or or erythrocytes in other words red blood cells while the multinucleate the example of multinucleate cell is slime mold so here i finish my lesson about the structure and function of nucleus if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you like my video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to be updated about my new videos thank you very much